So hi there, we would be looking at the task management system today, which is built inside very simple Google Forms and Google Sheets, but definitely gives a good output about what all tasks your team is doing, who is performing well, who is not doing tasks on time, what is the rating given by the manager and everything is done inside this module. So this is the portal what you get, which you can uh, embed to your uh, like bookmark on your laptop or you can add it as an home screen, which becomes like an app on your mobile phone. All the branding would be of your business over here. So when you want to delegate the task, firstly, what you have to do is at the back end, you define all your employee names, their WhatsApp numbers, their email IDs and whatever project names you have. For example, you want to delegate tasks for a particular project. So you can add it over here and what category of task you have. Like it is client call, it is a field visit, it is any other category. You can define all your categories over here. And whenever you want the notifications for email, when the task is completed, you can add the manager's email who want to see the task completion notifications. And these are the employee email IDs to whom the notification would be uh, given when the task is delegated. So this is the dashboard over here. You can delegate the tasks in bulk to your team. So whatever, let's say you add a task that email the uh, quotation to client to this particular employee, you select for which project is this task? What type of task is this? Yeah, you can say it is a quotation preparation or whatever category you create. You add a target date to this task. So let's say you have to do this task before this date. You select the priority. You select who has delegated this task and you just click on submit. Whenever you are clicking on submit, each employee has his own bucket list. So in each employees, let's say this is the employee uh, Roshni. So Roshni has all the tasks which are delegated to her. And whenever she wants to complete the task, she has a simple button over here. So each employee would get his own Google sheet on which you can give individual access to only the employees who want the access. So each employee will be only able to see their own task. There will be a button created over here of each employee and whenever they click, they would be able to see only the tasks which are active and which are delegated to them. So they can see like this is a task delegated and this is the target date. This is was delegated uh, to the uh, employee. And now when they want to complete the task, they have a simple button over here and they can do three things against the task. So either the task was completed. So they just go and uh, enter the remarks that this task is done. They have sent the quotation or any task what was given and they rate themselves for this task that they rate themselves uh, nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. And when they submit it, this task is automatically shifted from the active list to it moves to completed. So now you would be seeing that this task would be automatically removed. This is gone and this is gone inside the completed sheet. Over here, whichever tasks which are not rated by the manager. So now let's say employee has rated himself 10 out of 10, but the manager uh, tells that this task was not done correctly. So he can rate it 7 out of 10. And now we also have whether the task was done on time or it was late. So automatically we are giving the target date. So whenever we are delegating a task, automatically it shows that whether the task was done on time or late, whatever the remarks was given by the employee that is also shown and what was the duration of the task that is also shown. We also have whatever tasks which are in progress. So manager can see that which employee is doing what task and they can filter it via employee as well. So let's say they just want to see a particular employee's task, what he is doing. So they can just filter it and they can see. We also have this column of age, which shows that 25 days have passed from the target date. Still, the task is not completed yet. So this is what we are uh, able to see in this. And then we also have other buttons that this task, we can also mark it as if there is a client dependency and we want to push the target date. Then the user, the employee to whom the task is delegated, he can revise the target date, but only once. So he can only revise the target date once and the manager is also notified that this person has revised the target date and hence the status is also updated. It still stays in the active bucket list. So over here, the status is automatically changed to revise target date and we can also have the track that on 19th May he has so till 19th he has revised the target date. This is the remark, remarks for the revision. And the manager can also see in the in progress report that what task has been uh, revised. So you can also delegate the task via a simple Google form. Let's say you are currently uh, sending a WhatsApp message to give a task in place. You can just open this app, click this button and a simple Google form. Just select the employee name, 
put the task description and you can fill this the, these things as well if you need this you just select the target date priority and submit automatically email notification is sent to the uh, uh, employee that new task has been allocated it is also added in the task bucket list so now it would be a proper standard procedure in your business that whatever tasks are to be given would be coming in this sheet so employees also have a clarity that yes i have these all active tasks whenever they complete it they are automatically shifted and manager is also notified everything is noted with the date so at what date who did what and everything is tracked properly so there would be less confusions and you would be able to have a good track on whatever tasks are going on your business so now comes the part of reporting so what we give is we give an efficiency score to each employee overall this is a 43 percent score for this employee called shaker so what how is this calculated is that first the employee is giving rating to himself the manager is also giving rating to each individual task and we are also uh, calculating the parameter of whether it was done late or on time combining these three factors parameters we are giving this score of 43 percent let's say this employee does five tasks on time and manager also rates him good so automatic this score would be increased maybe it might go to 60. so employee have a productive feeling that whatever work they are doing for their business everything is track that is monitored by uh, someone senior to him and there is a score which can be also used for appraisals we also give a graphical dashboard where we have overall efficiency of all the employees combined whether all the team is working good and this score has to be increased we can filter it via employee let's say we select this employee so we can see that shaker employee has worked for which all projects how many tasks are done for each project what is the task duration worked upon so we can see that we also have uh, this graph where we can see project wise how many tasks are being delegated the comparison of each employee that who is the most uh, performing employee who is the least performing employee so you can pinpoint what issues are these employees facing why are they not able to do tasks on time or uh, why are they getting the low rating on the task and we can see who is delegating what amount of tasks currently what number of tasks are in progress so we can have this we can also integrate a project management uh, module inside this that would be a customized uh, feature other than this but what would be happening in that is for each project if you have some set defined tasks in the back end whenever you add a sales order or a project automatically you just select that project and all the tasks for that project which are prerequisite tasks for that project would be auto fetched so you just select which employee has to do which all tasks and then you can delegate that so automatically it will be going in their employees bucket list and they can complete their task also if you have recurring tasks currently what we have is a reminder sheet where you just select the task frequency that this task has to be done every two days and every two days it goes on whatsapp to the employee that every uh, two days this task has to be done for the employee so we can uh, remind them with that sheet and uh, we also have tabular reports like if you want some tabular analysis and project wise how many tasks are there and uh, employee is doing what number of tasks we have that and these are the screenshots that whenever a new task is allocated so this is task description project name category tar target date uh, priority and they get an url to complete or uh, uh, update the task and whenever completed this is the mail what is gone to the manager that the task has been completed so overall this is a simple system using google sheets google forms and uh, employees can easily uh, track their uh, history of the task which they are doing and managers can also have a track of performance of each employee and via mobile phone as well this these sheets can be opened so employees just can open the mobile uh, phone and the sheet on the app and they can see that th these are the tasks pending and when they want to complete they just click this button and submit it automatically it is shifted so this is the task management system and uh, contact us if you want this system in your business. Thank you.